well I'm doing oil strain replacement on this Mazda 6 series as you can see so let me show you what I've done so far so the oil pump is removed oil pan is removed as well let me show you from underneath this is how it is looking like I'll obviously need to clean the engine block surface but basically how I done it so I made that oil pump sprocket to put in that position it, it's not in time so it's not in a timing position but what I've done you see two dots on the sprocket and I put a line with the uh, with a sharpie or white sharpie on the chain in opposite so I know where or uh, I know the relation of the chain to that sprocket so if anything moves I can put it back the same way and I you see that notch uh, inside the sprocket as well that's for the pin for the on the oil pump so I always do it to have it on the in 12 hour or 12 o'clock position because that's the easiest way when you're putting it back together and now let me show you the oil pump so here is the oil pump with the balancer unit and the reason is I removed it because of the strainer and as you can see from inside it is quite dirty with solid particles as well so yeah it needs replacement I'll disassemble it very soon I just put the parts back to the car the wheel and the the oil pan so it's it will be covered overnight and I'm going to disassemble the oil pump well so here is why if you are replacing the oil strainer you always have to remove the oil pump and the balancer unit because the strainer has two bolts one is there it is an eight millimeter bolt you can access it easily but let me show you the other bolt it is right there so if by any magic you can fit a spanner on it it's fine but you cannot undo it all the way hence you cannot remove the oil strainer in situ so that's why what you need to do remove the oil stray uh, oil pump and the balancer unit held by six bolts four 13 millimeters one two three four and another two 10 millimeters one and two Obviously, there is an oil pipe which goes here, held by three bolts, three eight millimeter bolts, one, two, and the other one is on the engine block. So basically, now you need to remove or you need to separate the oil pump, which is this part, from the balancer unit, which this is this part. It is held by three 10 millimeter bolts. Let me show you. So if I stand it up. stays like this so the bolts are the following um, which one okay so the three bolts is one two and three you remove them three and you can separate the oil pump from the balancer unit and then you can further remove the oil strain I'll show you that in a second Okay, I removed the oil strainer, two 8mm bolts, and listen to this. Mmm, crunchy, crunchy. Oops, it just fallen off, but yeah, it is still plugged with the rest of the stuff. So it is always recommended to replace this one. <laughs> 